Welcome everyone to the debate on nuclear energy. Today we have Kyle and Stan here to discuss the pros and cons of nuclear energy. Kyle, please present your constructive statement in support of nuclear energy. Stan, please prepare your constructive statement in opposition to nuclear energy. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss this important subject. My argument in favor of nuclear energy is rooted in its unparalleled efficiency, reliability, and its role in combating climate change. Nuclear power is one of the most potent forms of energy production we have, with single plants capable of generating vast amounts of electricity with a minuscule carbon footprint relative to fossil fuels. A single uranium pellet, no bigger than a fingertip, can produce the same amount of energy as a ton of coal, with none of the air pollution that burning coal entails. Furthermore, nuclear energy provides stable baseload power. It doesn't depend on the weather and operates at over 90% capacity, which is much higher than renewable sources like solar and wind power. This ensures a consistent energy supply that supports our increasingly digital and electrified world. Probably most critical is its contribution to mitigating climate change. Nuclear power produces negligible greenhouse gas emissions once plants are up and running. By preventing carbon emissions, it has avoided the release of an estimated 60 billion tons of carbon dioxide since 1970, according to the International Energy Agency. Lastly, advancements in nuclear technology, including small modular reactors and potential breakthroughs in fusion power, hint at a future with even safer, less wasteful, and more adaptable nuclear options. In conclusion, Nuclear energy is an essential component of a modern, clean, and reliable energy portfolio necessary for a sustainable future. I acknowledge my counterpart's points regarding the efficiency and reliability of nuclear energy, yet I must emphasize the significant risks and challenges it poses. Firstly, the issue of radioactive waste is a daunting one. We are talking about hazardous material that remains lethal for thousands of years. Currently, there is no foolproof long-term waste disposal solution in operation that guarantees safety over the millennia. Human error, natural disasters, and unforeseen events can turn these storage sites into ecological nightmares, as seen in cases like Chernobyl and Fukushima. These accidents also illustrate the latent danger of nuclear power, the potential for catastrophic failures leading to widespread environmental contamination, long-term health issues, and massive economic costs. It's not just about the high-profile disasters. Even the routine operations of nuclear plants contribute to radioactive emissions and thermal pollution in water bodies, affecting marine life and ecosystems. Additionally, the initial construction and decommissioning of nuclear plants are both carbon and resource intensive, often overlooked when considering its role in combating climate change. And let's not forget the proliferation risk. The spread of nuclear technology increases the potential for the development of nuclear weapons, a threat to global security. The economic aspect is another concern, as nuclear plants are incredibly expensive to build, often requiring substantial government subsidies, which might otherwise be invested in safer, more sustainable, and increasingly cheaper renewable energy technologies. In essence, the risks and obstacles connected with nuclear energy make it an unsustainable choice for our long-term energy needs and environmental stewardship. Thank you both for your constructive statements. Kyle, please present your rebuttal to Stan's opposition to nuclear energy. Then, Stan, you will have the opportunity to rebut Kyle's initial statement. I appreciate Stan's concerns regarding nuclear energy, but many of the issues he raises are being successfully addressed as the technology evolves, mitigating the risks associated with nuclear power. The challenge of radioactive waste management, while serious, is being approached with advancing technologies in waste reduction, recycling, and safer, more secure, long-term storage solutions. Additionally, modern reactors are designed with incredibly high safety standards, employing passive safety systems that make catastrophic failures like Chernobyl or Fukushima extraordinarily unlikely. These incidents, while tragic, are anomalies when looking at the industry as a whole, which has an excellent safety track record. Nuclear energy has been one of the safest forms of electricity generation when compared to the number of lives lost per unit of electricity produced with other energy sources. 
Regarding thermal pollution and routine emissions, nuclear's impact on marine life and ecosystems is minimal compared to the extensive damage caused by fossil fuel extraction and burning. On the subject of carbon footprint, while the building and decommissioning of nuclear plants carry a carbon cost, it is spread over decades of low carbon operation, which still makes it a net positive in terms of carbon emissions when compared to fossil fuels. The economics of nuclear power is becoming more favorable with the emergence of small modular reactors, which are projected to be cheaper and faster to build than traditional reactors. The question of proliferation is a matter of international policy and security, not a technological inevitability, and with proper regulation, the risk can be effectively managed. In terms of investment, the cost needs to be weighed against the long-term benefits, security, and stability nuclear power provides. For transitioning to a low-carbon future, nuclear energy is an indispensable bridge that complements and supports the expansion of renewables. When we look at the bigger picture, the benefits of nuclear energy in addressing our pressing climate crisis and ensuring a stable energy supply far outweigh the challenges, many of which are continually being resolved with innovation and stricter safety protocols. While my opponent has put forth optimistic views on the technological advancements and safety improvements in nuclear energy, the core issues I've raised remain largely unaddressed. The promise of newer technologies like small modular reactors and future advancements in nuclear waste management is just that, a promise, as opposed to a present, tangible solution for the existing problems. Today's nuclear waste problem is immediate and unsolved, and innovative future technologies cannot retroactively mitigate the risk of the waste we have already accumulated. Nor can they guarantee no future incidences will happen, as human and technological failings are always a possibility. Safety standards, no matter how high, cannot erase the inherent risks of catastrophic failure. Nuclear accidents, however rare, have consequences that last for generations, and the scale of impact from such an event, both in terms of the environment and human life, is incomparable to other energy sources. The economic arguments for nuclear energy do not hold up when considering the hidden costs of long-term waste management, the potential costs of accidents, and the financial burdens of decommissioning aging plants. Furthermore, opting for nuclear power as a bridge to a low-carbon future diverts crucial funding and focus from renewable energy solutions that are already safer, cleaner, and becoming more cost-effective by the day. The reality is that nuclear energy perpetuates a centralized, potentially hazardous energy model when the global trend and need is to decentralize and diversify with renewables. In summary, the cons of nuclear energy, its potential for disaster, unresolved waste issues, economic inefficiency, and the hindrance it poses to the advancement of renewable technologies, outweigh the pros put forth. A truly sustainable energy future must prioritize minimizing risk and maximizing safety, and that future is incompatible with the propagation of nuclear energy. Thank you both, Kyle and Stan, for your compelling arguments on the topic of nuclear energy. It's evident that both of you have provided thoughtful insights into the benefits and drawbacks of nuclear power. The debate has highlighted the complex nature of this issue, with considerations ranging from efficiency and climate impact to safety, waste management, and economic implications. While Kyle presented a strong case for the role of nuclear energy in providing reliable, low-carbon power as part of a comprehensive energy portfolio, Stan articulated valid concerns regarding the inherent risks, unresolved waste issues, and the potential hindrance to the development of renewable energy technologies. The points raised on both sides have underscored the need for continued dialogue and rigorous evaluation of the trade-offs associated with nuclear energy. As we work toward a sustainable energy future, it is essential to weigh the potential benefits of nuclear power against the challenges it presents. Taking into account technological advancements, safety measures, waste management strategies, and the evolving landscape of renewable energy solutions. Ultimately, the decision on the role of nuclear energy in our energy mix will require careful consideration of all these factors. Thank you again, Kyle and Stan, for your contributions to this important discussion.